The Biden transition finally getting the green light from the Trump administration. But that doesn't mean the president is giving up his fight against election results. Tracy Potts has the latest from Washington, D.C. Ascertainment, determining an apparent presidential winner, opens the door to more than $7 million in government funds for the Biden transition and allows them to coordinate with the federal government. General Services Director Emily Murphy insists her delayed decision was not political. And while President Trump said for the first time he'll direct federal employees to comply, he added that legal challenges are moving full speed ahead and he will never concede. The election was stolen and President Trump won by a landslide. President-elect Biden also moving forward, appearing this afternoon with newly announced cabinet nominees. He makes history with two never before held by women, former Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen as Treasury Secretary and of Real Haynes as Director of National Intelligence. Plus Alejandro Mayorkas, the first immigrant and Latino to serve as Homeland Security Secretary. He's basically telling the rest of the world, we are back, this is our A-team. Biden telling the nation's mayors. We're here for you, and listen to you and work with you. More nominations expected today. Former diplomats Linda Thomas-Greenfield as ambassador to the United Nations. Jake Sullivan as national security advisor. Longtime foreign policy advisor Tony Blinken as secretary of state. And former secretary of state John Kerry as a special envoy on climate. Many of those nominees worked in the Obama administration. Tracy Potts, NBC News.